We were recently made aware of the new bylaw that will be passed in Hochelaga Maison of Mercier that will allow for um, community gardens to have urban hens uh, during a limited period of time in the summer. And we obviously are very concerned by this bylaw. We already receive um, abandoned and neglected chickens um, and roosters from the Montreal area, and this is without there even being um, a bylaw other than in Rosemont that allows for urban chickens. Um, these animals are sentient beings. Uh, they have very, um, very particular needs. Uh, veterinary care can be quite costly, and they can actually live for 10 years after they stop laying. And from my understanding, uh, this project will enable community gardens to only have them during the summer months, and then in the winter, uh, they will be expected to either dispose of them, i.e. have them killed um, or sent off somewhere else. Uh, we certainly believe that this is concerning um, because these animals should not simply be valued for what they can do in terms of laying eggs, but we genuinely believe that they should be treated as individuals. We think that there are other ways that people can use their time and energy um, to, to combat the factory farming system. They can choose to buy eggs from free-range organic local farmers, go out there and visit the, um, the farm itself, or choose not to eat eggs at all, but certainly we don't feel that the adoption of a bylaw permitting um, urban hens is in any way, shape, or form um, a, an appropriate way to combat the issue of factory farming of, uh, of chickens for the purposes of eggs. The adoption of these bylaws without considering sort of what the implications are for the welfare of the animals is, is disconcerting and we do believe that it will lead to an increase in the number of chickens um, and roosters that are abandoned every year or that are neglected. Often uh, these chicks are purchased from the same hatcheries that um, furnish eggs to factory farms so again they're actually contributing to the factory farming uh, problem they may want to combat and very often it's difficult to determine whether a chick will be a male or a female and so if these animals are only being raised for the purposes of having their eggs and the chick turns out to be a rooster uh, what happens to the rooster well they'll likely end up here